Alrighty, so today we're going to be looking at unit cost as a way of comparing things of different sizes and different prices. So imagine you went to the store and you found a few different bottles of milk. You want to find out which one was the best value. You've got a $2 bottle of milk and it comes with 2 litres. You've got a $4 bottle of milk and it comes with 3.5 litres and you've got a one dollar bottle of milk and it is 0.75 liters and the question is which one gives you the best value so what we need to know is how much you paying how much you paying dollars per liter meaning how much is each liter actually costing you well in order to do that you just need to work out the, each coin so for a b and c the cost per litre for the first one is going to be two dollars divided by two which means that it is one dollar per litre. Remember we write this slash symbol to mean per. The next one that's for A. For B the dollars is going to be four dollars uh, the cost per litre is going to be four dollars per three and a half liters, which is going to give us a cost of, in particular case we get quite a long decimal, but it's 1.14 after rounding. Now the next digit was a 2, so we round down per liter, which you can see is more expensive, right? Option B is more expensive per liter than option 1. Even though you get more milk for it than option 1, you'd be better off um, buying, if you're just going for sheer price, you'd be better off just buying A. And for the last one, C, well, the cost per litre is going to be $1 divided by 0 0.75 litres, which gives us, again, another long decimal, 1.333, which we're going to round to two decimal places because dollars and cents, $1.33 per litre. And so the ordering of best to worst is first prize goes to A, second prize goes to B, and third prize goes to C. For the cheapest and the most expensive. Okay, so that just kind of gives us a way of working through. Let's look at another one using grams instead. Alrighty, so in this case we've got the mass of each of these and the price. So we could be thinking that these could be cuts of meat, you know, measured in grams, or they could even be something along the lines of a box of cereal, something like that. So let's try to work out which is the best value. And in this case, we're going to be looking for the cost per gram. In order to work that out, well, we take the cost and we divide it by the number of grams. So for A, it's going to be $15 divided by 800, which is equal to... 0 0.01875 so it's not many dollars per gram instead what we might want to write this as is in cents instead at this point I'm going to leave a few extra decimals this time just because I don't know how the others are going to round just yet because they're rounding to quite small amounts like that's two cents per gram if we rounded it but anyway let's have a look at the second one so the second one the cost per gram, well we take the cost, $12.50, and we divide it by how many grams it is, 650, and we get in quite a long decimal place, and in this case we get 0 0.019, and then it goes on, but I'm going to round it to 1.9. And you can even see just between these two, there's not a huge difference, but option A is a little bit cheaper than option B. This is slightly smaller than the other one. Alrighty, lucky last C. Well, the dollar's cost per gram is going to be 10 divided by 425. And for that, we are going to get 0 0.0235, or rounded to 23. Now notice, if we had rounded each of these to two decimal places, we actually would have gotten the same answer for all of them. Because this one rounded to two decimal places is 0.2. This one rounded to two decimal places is 0.2. And this one rounded to two decimal places is 0.2. Yet, they are not all equally the same. 
So sometimes just be careful about rounding because sometimes it will cloud your answers. So keeping all the digits, and in this case, I even want to keep this many digits because it shows that option A is cheaper than option B. Sorry, that should be rounded to an eight. You can see that option A is once again the cheapest. This is the second cheapest, and this is the third cheapest. So, best option. So if you're most caring about which is the most ec economical, the cheapest overall, then you always want to take the smallest cost per um, item. Alrighty. So that was a quick introduction to the unit cost method. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.